So in this session, we'll talk about how we can create a beautiful looking alert dialog, or you can say model using in our lightning web component. So whenever I say I want to show some alert similar like this, for example, like this alert statement, or you can say alert to dialog box when you want to show how I can do it. So two things you have to remember. One thing, there is one module called lightning alert you have to import in your JavaScript. And in that JavaScript, you can invoke a method from the lightning alert module as a lightning alert dot open. Yes, this method when you invoke, there is some kind of attribute will pass like message, label, variant, what theme. And when you operate on the alert dialog, okay, you say, okay, after that, what you want to do or not. So that operations we can write inside this open method. We'll see by writing a code, how am I going to create a small alert box? So we'll see that with a small code snippet. So to do that, I'm going to open my Visual Studio code. In the Visual Studio code, I'm going to create a new lightning component, or you can say new lightning web component. And we'll see how am I going to uh, write a smaller piece of code to display alert dialog box, okay? So now, First, let's go and create a new lightning web component. Go to your command palette by clicking Control Shift P or if you're using Mac, then uh, you can do Command Shift P. So once you go to command palette, then you can use create lightning web component. Okay, so I want to give a component name. For example, this is I'm going to give it, give you, uh, my notification component. Okay, I'm going to show all alert and next I'll show the prompt, confirm, everything. So I'm creating a component named as my notifications. And I'm, you can see right now, my LWC component is ready, named as my notifications. So what I need to do to display alert. So I want to create a button like this. Okay, and on click, I want to show alert box, just for understanding. Okay, so what I do now in your HTML, I go to my HTML template. In the HTML template, I'm going to write one small button. Simply, I can use my lightning button. Okay, I'm going to give my label as, uh, for example, so alert. Okay, then I can say on click what I want to do. On click, I want to invoke a JavaScript method. I gave the name as handle alert. Okay, very small button I, I, I kept, nothing else. And I saved it. So now I'll go to my JavaScript. I said two things you have to remember when you want to use alert in LWC. The first thing, you have to import lightning alert from the lightning alert module. You have to import this. Let's do that first. Step one, put an import statement. What do you want to import? You want to import lightning alert. From where? I want to import from the lightning alert module. Simply I can go here, lightning slash alert. My first step is completed. This is my first step. Import lightning alert. And we have to use a lightning alert open the method and you can use this as a async or out method and and we have uh, uh, dot then for any code which you want to execute after the alert closed you can use it that inside the then method let me write this method and see how am i going to write so now inside the javascript i'm going to write this method simply i'm saying async okay what is my method name i had here as a handle alert the javascript method Inside this, I'm going to use my alert open method. So what I do here, I will use await. What is my method or, or what I imported? I imported lightning alert. Okay, what is the method name? Method name is open. Okay, this is my method simply I can say, correct? So in the method, what I need to do? Definitely as its method, I'm going to pass some attribute to create my dialogue or to create my alert model. So how can I do? I can pass message, label, what type of alert I want, in what, what theme it should be. 
So these are the different attributes I can pass. So now, first I'm saying, what is the message I want to show in my alert? Like if you see here, if I click this alert, I'm showing some message, correct? So what kind of message you want to show it? So I can say, I want to display alert message. For example, you are not allowed to use these features, for example. Okay, this is my alert I gave. What message I want to show? What is the theme? Theme nothing but when you say, like in which color I want to display, the header color. Okay, so I want to display as a, for example, error. You can see, uh, if you want to in the red color, you can pass theme as a error. Or if you want to show as a green color, theme as a success. If you want to show as a white, you can leave it as default. Or if you want to show as a uh, gray, then keep theme as a shade. Or if you want to keep as black, then theme as offline. So default, shade, inverse, alt inverse, success, info, warning, error, offline can be different, different theme. So now what I do here, I'm going to set theme as what? For example, error, okay? Next what? So like you can see this label, the header, okay? I want to display the headers. What we can say? I can pass this as a label. So if I say label, okay, what is my label? For example, I can display this as a error, okay? Or warning, whatever you want, you can display. I save it. So now also you can see there is one college variant. Do you want to keep it as a header or, or headerless? That also you can do using variant. So variant nothing but uh, text to values. If you don't give any value, always it will come as a header. Okay, by default, this is header. That's fine. Let me save it. I'm going to put to this meta file, for example, just to updating meta file so that I can expose this component to be used in my page. Okay. And now going to push this code what I have to my org just to display one of the alert box or alert dialog how implement with just implementing this method. So now if I go to my org, okay, I'm just going to like any of the record page I'll put to show you, but in the end I'll make see all confirm prompt alert all modules to do a one one small kind of examples okay if i go to here and now i'm going to edit this page and i'm going to take my notifications my notifications for example i'm going to keep it here right now okay later i'll later i'll change it i save it activate it if not activated let's say i'm assigning all as a org default save it okay if you have already activated page just add this component and save it now if you see i wrote just two lines of code here one is importing the method importing the lightning alert module and using this method now what i'm going to do i'm clicking this show alert yeah you can see here and if you do not want to use this uh, uh, header simply what i can do here simply i can use the variant as for example i will say headerless okay this is going to be one of the variant if i save it i'm going to Push these changes again. Then we can see that header will not come. So it's nothing but the different attribute you can set and the combination wise what you want to do, you can do it. Okay, let me just refresh it. Okay, you can represent, you can see this alert will not come here. This is going to be headerless. Okay, header and headerless, default value is always going to be the header. Okay. 
So now, in the next we'll see how am I going to work on the prompt and confirm model. Okay, so like similar way, what are the import statement we are going to use and how am I going to do it? You can see this is the headerless, the attribute what we used. Okay, in the next session, we'll see about the other modules where we can use prompt and confirm. Thank you.